Game. I'm back. What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again back from my hiatus back from my leap of absence as you can say Basically, I had a baby had another baby. Congratulations. It was a boy. His name is Aiden No pictures here. I don't share no pictures of my kids on, on social media However, if you do want to see a glimpse of him, I got a picture here But also follow me on Twitter. I have two of them follow my personal follow my gamer one I'm gonna be posting more on those especially with the times we're going through now You probably could catch quicker content via there than on YouTube because on YouTube I have to sit down and edit this stuff in order to get this out there However, I am coming back. This is official maternity leave is kind of done Especially with this Kovac thing this um the virus stuff that's going around right now a lot of work from home stuff is going to be going on Including me actually jumping back into the studio and getting some videos out for you guys So yay to that Nintendo out of nowhere popped out with a Nintendo Direct a Nintendo Direct Mini Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, boys! Let's go! It's been a while. We've been waiting for this Nintendo Direct Mini. This Nintendo Direct Mini. Everyone has been saying basically because of Animal Crossing, we weren't going to get one until after Animal Crossing, but Animal Crossing was out, and everybody was like, Tuesday, Thursday, announcement. Where is it? Where is it? Now we got it. Now we got this Nintendo Direct Mini. Let's just jump right into it. What am I expecting? I don't know. Maybe... Everything that's gonna happen in 2020, maybe they're gonna save some from stuff for E3. E3 is not happening this year, so most likely they're gonna have like a big June event as well. This one being a mini, and we already had the indie showcase. This one should be interesting. Again, it should be interesting. Let's, let's let me pull it up. It says, please do, due to the COVAC release dates and other information presented in this video are subject to change for potential updates. Please. Okay. Wow. They letting us know off the gate. Off the gate. Things might change. Nintendo Direct for today. Woo! Let's go. Long ago, two great titans came into existence. What is this? The Bionis Attack and the on Titans. The Titans were locked in a timeless battle. What kind of game? Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Oh. That's how you can tell I'm not a Xenoblade fan. <laughs> Not to say that I can't be a fan, I have just never tried one of the games. So, roast me in the comment section, should I pick this up? I understand this is like the the beginning game, right? This is like the first game that they bring it over. And this guy's in Smash, and he's ill in Smash. So, unlock the Monado's power. It's my turn! And the games don't look terrible. They don't look terrible. The fighting, something strange. like, in the games are lit. as if I could see Pretty into cool. the future. I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. I've been waiting resurrection of the Monado, boy. The future I see... <laughs> It isn't set. Father! So the Japanese writing is hilarious. The future, and that's exactly what I intend to do. Mecha. Cool. Looks good. It's not over. <laughs> the people of Bionis will never let you triumph. <laughs> <laughs> Looks cool. We got a date for that. That's, that's coming up soon, 529. Was oh, that DLC for it too? Hmm. 
If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Let's go. The ultimate version of a modern classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Okay. On Nintendo Switch, the game looks better and plays smoother than ever before. Because this was like on the what? The original Wii? screens are easy to read and easy to use. <laughs> Why is this a Nintendo Direct highlights? The fact that the HUD is, is good to use. Now you can fully immerse in the majesty of this vast world. My son just and jumped to his a death. New epilogue, a new story, future connected will cap off the main game. So if you've played cool. and loved the original game, you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. Good That's lit that they added new content though. That's we'll still. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May. And that's 29th. in May. And that's coming up soon. The game starting today. Also coming on May 29th, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Works set will pack in a 250-page art book. Okay. Works set. All right. Good luck everyone. picking that up in the stores. Nintendo Direct <laughs> Mini. We've got news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. Okay. Now, let's roll through some headlines, shall we? Yes, please. Keep it on the roll. Three of 2K's 2K. most beloved series are coming soon to the Nintendo Switch system. Three? Oh, Bioshock, let's go! Borderlands! Let's go! The Bioshock Collection, too, is not just the first game. That is lit, let's go. This is cool, this is cool. Bioshock... I wanna say, I, I one and two, I didn't get so far into one. I played a ton of two. Infinite, I fell in love with. That was back on the PS3 days. Borderlands, again, the first one and second one, especially the second one, played a ton of it. Didn't try the um, third one yet. And this is the collection, right? So it's one, two, and three. <laughs> XCOM, okay. All right. Mario plus rabbits, move the fuck over. <laughs> okay. That's cool that they got XCOM one and two. That's a, a perfect Nintendo Switch game. I haven't tried them myself, but I could see that making the perfect um, fit into um, Nintendo Switch. Especially Borderlands. Borderlands was way overdue. The fact that they got Borderlands on the Vita. Board, yep. Let's go. Coming May 29 too? May 29? Old Let's go. Space off in a new trailer. For the Marvel Ultimate oh, Alliance 3 I thought the Black this is a, Order expansion. I thought pack. this is a new game. I was just about to say, what the fuck? <laughs> the DLC. I gotta get the DLC. Fantastic Four. It's clobbering time! Oh, let's try to make the Fantastic Four relevant. <laughs> We're not going down without a fight. I feel like they're so we have a good cast of, of characters, the Fantastic Four, but they were actually never like done like super well, movie wise. Anyway, I'm pretty sure there's movies and um and games that that does it ill. Doom, one of my favorite characters from uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, so... A god himself. He is a god, look at him. What? One son with the all white? Let's go. In the darkest depths of the ocean lies a really fun game. What? You are the last of the human race, forced by a global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. In this deep sea exploration Let's game, go. you collect resources to upgrade your gear craft items and dive deeper into the abyss 
Okay. And explore increasingly hostile environments. Metrovania underwater? Those oxygen and pressure levels. And if that's not challenging enough, Shinsekai's time attack mode, Another Dive, boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, culminating with a final monstrous threat. You know, okay. it can get pretty heavy down there. So why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? <laughs> it lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. The time has come to discover oh, the truth okay, hidden cool. beneath the ocean's surface. When Shinsekai Into the Depths launches on Nintendo and Switch available today. now. I'm not gonna buy it, but it looks interesting. Animal Crossing. Deserted Island Life thanks to this free update. Enjoying island life in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game? Mm, well, I haven't got it yet. <laughs> you're already living it up on the island, or you're still planning your departure. There's an event coming up, and we're happy to spill the beans. Er, crack the eggs? You see, after downloading the free update we made available at launch, one zipper T Bunny will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day in early April. Okay, cool. Can you hunt down the egg zipper head everywhere? Plus, you can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. The Bunny Day event only comes once a year, this time from April 1st to April 12th, so be sure to participate. And guess what? There's another free update coming later in April. It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. <laughs> of course, I was about to say to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing they, Twitter they, account. They 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 put this guy too. slow speed so, run into stay um, tuned. <laughs> Animal Crossing game. I was about to say what? We hope you enjoy the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. Let's go. Animal Crossing free updates. That game Animal is gonna have crazy things. Now oh, hiring. This is your dad's company? Apparently, they offer a wide range of services. The job description entails many responsibilities. You'll deliver items, mop the floor, and maintain okay. a comfortable work environment. Another chore game. <laughs> They're trusting you with crane operation and other tough tasks. Oh my god. Uh oh. That projector won't do. Hmm, think you can take care of that? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner or opt for more creative solutions, do what you need to do to get the job done. <laughs> okay. This is cool. Hopefully you're ready to join the team and be put to work immediately. Because Good Job launches today. Oh, okay. Another available today. I like this. I like this. Catherine, let's let's keep this up. Sure let's get to that game that I like. Coming to Nintendo Switch. Full body. I'm definitely the next skipping step in this. his relationship. Commitment phobic Vincent finds himself pulled into the allure of a new love. Looks like Name poor Vincent's Catherine. caught in a love quadrangle with Catherine. Catherine with a C and Rin. Little does he know, temptation might lead to his own demise. In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weirder. Deservedly, not only is Vincent riddled with guilt during the day, he's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb in order to survive <laughs> and see another day. Find out Divide if love is over for our troubled day. bachelor in this dark, intense, <laughs> and intoxicating story when Catherine the climbing, on the climbing Switch, actually looks July 7th. cool. It's funny because I actually never seen the climbing gameplay until just now. Free so. update for the Ring Fit Adventure game. What? Up its audio. Ring Fit Adventure update. This is probably getting me back into it. Mario up. What? Mix things up with the new rhythm game mode. Let's go! If you want to set a high score, you gotta get your body moving to the beat. Speaking of, there are 17 music tracks in the rhythm game. 17 music tracks? Like this is Mario? From Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. What song from Breath of the Wild? <laughs> what song from Breath of the Wild? On top of that... DLC? I Your companion, Ring, will now have a female voice option. Nicely done. Oh, okay. Abgar, 
That's what we all want. Able to change languages. Yeah. Oh. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. Okay. <laughs> We're also right. adding in a new jogging option in both the custom and quick play modes. When you're not in a battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. That's lit. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. Let's go. Okay. I might have to do some Ring Fit Adventure um, videos. Better open the gates. One treasured TRPG approaches. One Since 1990, TRPG. the King's Bounty series has been influencing the evolution of Western this is a RPGs. Skip for me. Why don't you show me an RPG with, a with those a rectangles, squares, or whatever this on the floor? sequel will pit army against uh -huh. army, sending the player on a quest around the world to save the world. This time, the graphics are more realistic. Your choices <laughs> matter more than ever. <laughs> so does the terrain you stand on. The, your, so the graphics are more realistic? Like and we're talking long. about Nintendo Switch? <laughs> Across the land, That's funny. you'll meet new I people that whose funny. ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. Find out just how deep the gameplay will get when King's Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Okay. In 2020. You sound like you were not sure about that date. <laughs> Super Smash Brothers Ultimate News approaches. The fighter included in Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC will be... What? They just dropping the news on us? Arms? Joining the battle from arms. This fighter is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms, so we'll have to extend our development time too. Please stay tuned for just a bit longer. The next fighter will be announced and released this June. <laughs> From arms? That's cool, Don't but who is it? Arms game trial. A free game trial of ARMS will be available exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online members. Okay. These elite fighting Again. superstars share one thing in common, extendable ARMS. So equip super-powered ARMS to create a slew of combinations. For a limited time, you can try out the full game for free. Now, let's get stretchy. Okay. Feeling good? All right. Well, all right. You can download ARMS, play it for free, nice and decide not to buy it. At Bravely Default 2. Nice long look at Bravely Default. Oh. Where, where am I? Can't believe I survived. Yeah, I'm not a big JRPG guy. Granted, I love Pokemon, I love Final Fantasy. I gotta give some of these a try. Fire, water, However, wind, I don't know. Earth. Nature's masters. The great stone's power exceeds the hand of man. It looks nice. And if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity, and blight upon the land. Heroes of light, may the crystals guide you. This is the crystal's blessing. Who swear the details, eh? And don't stand on ceremony either. If I've helped even one person, then I've done the right thing. This tale unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to the five mighty kingdoms. Of Excellent. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, this reminds me up on the shores of one of, such um, kingdom. What is it? What is well, it? Octopath, Octopath Traveler. Here, and that's a game I still need to die of Musa. To. A princess who was forced to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. You dare claim the crystals? You do not know their worth. He also encounters two travelers determined to decipher a mysterious and magical book. Elvis and Adele. Have a Elvis and Adele. Book to be deciphered. We're not friends or anything. I'm just here because he hired me. As if guided by fate, our heroes join forces and set off together on a grand mission, each filled with a sense of purpose. But there will be those who stand in their way. Mm -hmm. Those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks, 
These stones allow their holders to take on jobs, such as thief or black mage, becoming infinitely more powerful in the process. Come on. Okay, let's do this. I shall steal it all. Every last treasure this... in the empire. This During battle, our style you must is decide just... when to use Brave Points, or BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn-based system. The key to victory lies in knowing when to use the Brave and Default commands. Choose Brave to spend BP in order to allow characters to perform additional actions. Choose Default to order a character to guard, reclaiming a BP in the process. Okay. Strategically hold back or take multiple actions in one turn. To make the right choice, you must consider your character's roles and statuses at all times. Should you manage to fell an asterisk holder, you will acquire their asterisk, allowing you to take on the associated job. Oh, Jobs man. can be combined at will greatly expanding your strategic options and influencing the development all of right your this is not live but i don't want to skip around <laughs> i am like now so tempted to skipping this a demo version of the game will launch okay today. i'll play the demo and in the near future we'll conduct a survey to gather feedback and incorporate what we can as we finalize the game we hope you'll participate i'll participate for content later on this the week, I play through. And Square Enix's beloved series, Bravely Default 2, will release this year. And y'all see a impression video for me about it. I love You're demos, fun. so I dive Let's in. This good news won't have the moving. pressure of you know. Tabletop classics from around the world will come together on Nintendo Switch. Won't have the pressure of feeling like I wasted my money or need to complete it. You know. Let's go. Pool? Clubhouse games. Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Menkaku, okay. Hanafuda. Backgammon. This Renegade. Might Shepherd, be a cop. President. Dominoes. Speed. Hair and Hounds. Blackjack, four in a row. Chess, Shogi, Mini okay. Shogi, Ludo, Richie Mahjong, Sevens, All Bar, right. Darts, Texas Hold'em, Nine Men's Morris, Air Hockey, War, Carom, Chinese Checkers, Yacht Dice, Takoyaki, Billiards, Hex, Spider Solitaire, Gomoku, Matching, Solitaire. Bowling, Bowling! Shogi, Slot Cards, Dots and Boxes, Hit and Blow, Dots and Boxes, tips, Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, Toy Boxing, <laughs> Toy Baseball, Battle Tanks, <laughs> Team Tanks, Sliding Puzzle, and Six Ball Puzzle. Phew! That really is 51 games. And okay. there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people, playing via local wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported too. Okay. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. Play to your heart's content against rivals the world over. When Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics launches on Nintendo Switch June 5th. This might be a pickup for me. Today. How much is it? Because if it's 60, nah. But. Will the real Master Ninja please stand up? What? Oh, so you're the ultimate ninja, are you? Well then, prove it the in real battle. real Master Ninja. As one of eight players, you must earn the most points Whoa, to claim Whoa, why this looks like... Sprint across Splatoon stages. S. And show off your gum ninjutsu like only you can. What? By chewing what ninja gum, you can dash at high speeds. Oh, hell yeah, this looks like fucking Splatoon. Disguise yourself. Ah, uh, all right. Skills. And speaking of arsenals, from heady hitting hammers, to fast and flashy katanas. This is reminding me a little bit Your of. Your choice of equipment um, could mean the difference I between forgot domination the, um, and defeat. Game. Ninjas thrive it was in Dreamcast. So cement your supremacy in four-on-four -four team battles that prove ninjas are most four clever when they work battles. together. Will your efforts end in gummy disaster, or prove you're the master? 
when Ninjala sneaks up on Nintendo Switch May 27th. Okay. And hey, it's free to play too. Oh, okay, free to play. Let's go. You can play on Nintendo Switch. Enter Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy to learn the ways of the Force. Let's go. Customize your look, play a role in this Star Wars story, and battle online with this up to 16 players. Battle? Star okay. Wars Jedi Knight All Jedi right. Academy launches on Nintendo Switch today. Today? To strap in because Star Wars what? Racer is coming soon. What? In this remade dragon riding classic, you'll pilot the blue dragon through Wait, why races, did they just skip over that? Battling giant creatures and lethal battles. Pod Racer? Using three Episode 1 Pod controls Racer? And lock on targeting. The N64 classic? It's your destiny to reach the tower or die trying. When Panzer Dragoon Remake launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive today. What? Today? There's a lot more coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh my god, bruh. Like, whoo. Trials of Mana, that's a skip for me. Uh, I gotta remember to probably mute this music. This is probably definitely gonna get me claim Fuser? What the fuck is this? Uh, Blades. Okay. Blades, I tried on the phone. It's terrible. I wanna try it on the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully it's better. But I wanna try it on the Switch. Uh, Warhammer, a uh, skip for me. What else? Ah, okay. Closed beta coming in April. This is cool. Burnout Paradise! Let's fucking go on the Switch! Let's go! Finally! Saints Row, this is a skip for me. Not fucking with Saints Row. Even though I won't grant that photo on the Switch so badly. Mr. Okay. Mr. Drill. Is that a classic one that they're re-releasing? Or this is a new one? Minecraft Dungeons. Another one that I'm tempted on, but I'm going to probably skip. To be honest. Give it a buck. I'm probably gonna skip. Well, it's been fun, but okay. today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. It's not over. This is our last news of the day. Okay, we're gonna end it. Pokemon, let's go! Let's go! Pokemon let's go! Expansion pass and Pokemon Shield expansion pass. Look at that helmet! With an expansion pass, the world of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. What? The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, That's and the frozen go. snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible in the Gala region. Let's go! Let's it's a go! New adventure to embark on with new people to meet along the way. Today we have some follow-up information about Part One, the Isle of Armor. Let's go! Follow up. Let's go! On let's the Isle go. of Armor lies a dojo for Pokemon battles, where trainers gather to master their skills. Look at the hairstyle. This dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon. Let's fucking go. Kubfu. Kubfu. Mustard. Look at him. <laughs> so Kubfu, cute. You will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists. The Towers the of armor. Two Fists. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers: the Tower of Darkness or the Tower of Waters. Okay. You may only choose one, and you and Kubfu must face this challenge alone. Once you've conquered one of the towers, okay. Cub Fu will evolve into Urshifu. Okay. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn Single Strike style. But if you choose the Tower of Waters, it will learn Rapid Strike style. Uh, okay. Dark or Water, the choice is yours okay. and yours alone. Beyond that, I don't know the which one I would choose. Your yeah. Pokemon, be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon, will gain a gigantic max form. Let's go. For your adventure on the Isle of Armor. So, let's take a look at each Pokemon's Gigantamax form moves. <laughs> Beating a giant drum and controlling got its a sniper. <laughs> it's G-Max Drum Solo. G-Max Drum Solo. Kicking a okay. giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot, it's G-Max Fireball. G-Max Fireball. And with water from 130 feet up, it's G-Max Hydro Snipe. Hydro Snipe. These moves are stronger <laughs> than Dynamax moves. And when used, the opponent's abilities have no effect when they're attacking. Okay. Ignores opponent's abilities. Okay, all In three of them. To new outfit items and you can make yourself look like Rose. Let's go. Also, be new league card backgrounds. Okay, and cool. frames. 
Expected now that. Now you have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Lit, lit, lit. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1, The Isle of Armor, will launch by the end of June. Let's go. Also, for those of you who purchased the Expansion Pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. Okay. Starting today, during Max Raid Battles in the Wild Area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Copperado oh, okay. and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword, and Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Charizard in Shield? What? Challenge together. Why would they do that? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you put Charizard exclusively in Shield? I'm tight. I'm tight. <laughs> That's it? Okay. Cool mini direct. Cool mini direct. And that was filled with stuff. Everything from the ring um fit adventure sounds dope. That that update is gonna be cool. Um everything that they talked about with um Pokemon. Yo, we got a ton of Pokemon shit to go over now. Like, your boy is back. Your boy is back. Like, it, it, it's official. I'm back from my break. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try to um, shoot more videos now that all of this stuff is going on. Now that I'm gonna be at the crib more and stuff like that. Let's see, let's see, man. Sounds fun, sounds fun. Everything that we've seen today was good. It was decent, nothing too legendary. I mean, it was a great direct overall. We got Smash news, we got Pokemon news, we got updates to games like Ring Fit and, and um, Animal Crossing. It was a lot for a mini direct, which is oddly the title of this. Also, we did get um, a ton of demos, a ton of games that are out now, especially with what's going on now. We definitely need that. And a lot of questions about what Nintendo is going to be doing for 2020 has kind of been answered until the Xeno game comes out. Because I feel like they were like, hey, we're going to put this at the front. This is a lot of information about, you know, Xenoblade. This is our next big game, basically. And... Uh, until then, here's a whole bunch of little shit. And then Pokemon at the end, like, hey, you know, Pokemon is also coming out this year. That's going to be cool. But to me, there was no, like, big answers to, like, if Zelda was going to come out this year, are we getting another Mario this year? There's so much rumors about, you know, Paper Mario, another racing Nintendo game. None of that was answered. And I don't think we're going to see that big, like, answer until E3. And that's what I think this is perfect that they did a mini direct even though if this 30 minutes is a direct boy like if it like a regular direct or what 10 more minutes longer this was a perfect direct i i did like it i did enjoy it granted that uh, there's a lot of like rpgs i love not all of them so uh, them spending a lot of time with bravely default as you've seen to me was a waste and um them spending a lot of time with um, Xenoblade Chronicles. Granted, it did look good. It's not for me. But let me know what you think about this Nintendo Direct in the comment section below. As you guys know, this is a conversation. So I'm going to jump back on it. I know it's been a while since I answered comments. But I'm going to answer comments now. I'm going to jump through all of the comments that are there. Get through them. And then also knock out the ones in this video. So if you have a comment about anything that we went over in this Nintendo Direct. Let me know in the comment section below. Let's have that conversation down there. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day or I'm going to try to now, now that I'm back in the studio. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the channel. Also, I am going to have a ton of Pokemon content coming up because during my break, I've been recording a ton of Pokemon stuff. So I am going to chop that up and put it up on the channel. So guys, please, I love you guys. Thank you for rocking out and, and watching the video. I am going to have, again, tons of more content coming soon. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. Also, if you want to see me check out other stuff. Peace. I love you. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.